Scorpio gang, gang, gang. Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses. I love, 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 love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping, what's good. To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate it. To you rock stars that like, share, subscribe, book me for readings, let the ads play. Donate to the channel. Tune in every single day. You totally rock. You totally amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your coffee, your tea, your cognac, your gin, your padrone, <laughs> your cognac, your padrone. Whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad later, play for a minute or so, so you girl get all the credit from YouTube if you'd like a personal reading with me. Currently running a $44.44 special, cash out, PayPal, email me, all right? Everything else you need to know is in the description box below. Let's get into the messages, Scorpio. So, <clears throat> somebody trying to get over you with another person, Scorpio, and it's not fucking working. They, they, they trying to get over you, but they keep contacting you. They with this other person, but they keep contacting you. The whole thing about this is, why the fuck do you keep contacting me? Whoever this person is, they chose somebody else. They got what they chose, and what you got is what you fucking got. Scorpio definitely don't owe you shit. Let's see what's going on with this lame-ass person here. What's going on with Scorpio? The Eight of Pentacles. This could be happening at your job. This could be this could be um somebody who chose to promote somebody over you and then now they want you to keep training people. And it's like, bitch, no. For some of you Scorpios, you're just realizing that you're very creative. I feel like you're trying to master something. You're working on something very hard too, Scorpio. I feel like you're moving in silence here. Yeah, the ace of wands. Yeah, you working on something, Scorpio. Something you're very passionate about. Period. Feel like you ain't telling nobody about shit. What else going on here? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Some, a definitely ending about something. I feel like... um, Something not working. Somebody wants you to give up something for them or, or a job wants you to give up something. I'm going to go with the person here. Okay, flip it or switch it. But I feel like somebody wants you to give up something you're passionate about just to be with their raggedy ass. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You could be seeing 10, 10, 10. A lot of endings here, Scorpio. An uh, end to a lot of hard work for you. I'm hearing you'll be making money in your sleep. An uh, end to negative energy, negative people in your energy, okay? For some of you Scorpios, you could you could resign from your job and start your own business with the Ace of Wands here because I feel like you've been working on something behind the scenes. Something definitely comes to it. I feel like a job comes to an end and a business is born is what I just got. <laughs> what else here? Somebody made a choice, though, is what I'm getting to. And they made, they made the wrong choice, okay? I feel like somebody made a choice for stability instead of love. And now they regretting that shit. I feel like they burdened with whatever choice they made. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like, too, like, this person felt like they was being breadcrumb where they was at, Scorpio. I felt like... um. You weren't giving them enough when you was giving them more than what the fuck they was giving you, obviously, with the Ace of Pentacles being in reverse. And they just thought they found something better here is what I'm getting. And they found out what they what they found was fool's gold. Everything that sparkle ain't fucking gold, just period. And that's what this person finding out. Now they're more burdened than they were because now they don't fucking have you. They don't have you to soften the blow. Okay, they they don't have you to when the when they short three hundred dollars on the rent, you got that plus something else. Like that type of shit. What else? 
This is somebody want you to keep fighting for this shit. Fighting for what? For nothing? Fighting for the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like you cut all communications off with this person, Scorpio. I feel like you pour yourself into work, a passionate project that you've been um, keeping inside. And I feel like you could be starting your own business here. The Ace of Swords is the overall energy. Definitely a victory in something. Something about you being realized here. Something coming to the 3D. <clears throat> something you worked very, very hard on here. Somebody, I keep hearing that. I'm going to go with that because somebody made the wrong choice. All right, let's, let's see. Let's get more information here, Scorpio, about what's going on. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles here. For some of you Scorpios, you could be taking a um, totally different career path here. Feel like you would have to relocate for whatever this position is, though. I'm here in Vegas. Arizona. What's the messages here? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, that Eight of Wands in reverse. Somebody, somebody chose somebody else. They chose another fucking direction. Instead of the direction they was traveling in. And it led to nothing, actually. And now they want to come back. Yeah, on the Eight of Pentacles, toxic. I think we pulled this in another reading I, I let um go today. Go go check it out. This <laughs> we just attract toxic, just period. This is somebody who this could be somebody toxic at work. This could be somebody you met at work, Scorpio. Somebody who has a codependent behavior, narcissistic behavior. They're not very good to you at all here. What else? You could be the breadwinner, Scorpio, in this situation. Surprise. Unexpected romance, meeting someone new, a blast from the past. I feel like you find out about, um, I feel like you find out this person ain't been working, they've been fucking. That's what I'm getting with that surprise. I feel like, too, this person been romancing somebody when they don't even have enough money to pay their fucking rent. Journaling is, journaling is here. Some of you Scorpios could be journalers. Could be some type of creative release, something you do like to clear your mind. Or just you keeping track of your patterns or, you know, like exploring your feelings without talking to people. Because I feel like at this time you're really moving in silence, Scorpio, about something you're working very hard on. For a lot of you, Scorpios, I feel like you're working hard on exiting this connection here. You could be saving your money. You could be, you know, like budgeting, cutting back on shit so that you can get this new apartment and car or whatever this is. To help you leave this um, tumultuous ass situation. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Definitely a new beginning here for you that's going to be very prosperous. And it's not going to feel like work. Because I feel like whatever this is, you love to do it. I feel like you're going to be very busy. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm going to take the ones that um came out on the Ace of Wands. You're getting present. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is this is cautioning you to like live in the moment, not in the past. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like this person they don't worry about the future. They don't worry about what's next. This person kind of like lives at the at the like the seat of their pants. I feel like that's not that's never been comfortable for you. But I feel like, you know, you thought maybe this would change after this person's finances changed. You thought this person would level up. They never did. You're pulling the unavailable card. Yeah, I feel like this person was, I feel like this person hid their feelings. They're very guarded. This person struggles with intimacy here, even inside a connection. They're very emotionally standoffish. And I feel like um, when somebody is unavailable to that, I mean they dating other people. So this person, 
They're keeping their options open, Scorpio. And you didn't know that's what was going on. Yeah, jealousy is here. Somebody is jealous of your new beginning, your new passionate beginning. What, whenever, whatever this is, when it launches, when it comes to the people's eye, like people are going to be hoping that it goes nowhere with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the uh, Eight of Wands. But your overall energy is the Ace of Swords. It's definitely going. Somebody is not being respectful of your time, of your resources. I'm hearing something too about malicious gossip and wandering eye here. So yeah, I feel like you connected or you were connected with somebody. Maybe you met this person at work, but they're toxic as fuck. They're jealous of you. They're unavailable. They're non-committal. Yeah, it's just like this person is a waste of time. Clarify Ten of Swords. This person wants you to this person wants you to kind of like fight for him. And it's like, no, nah, it ain't nah. Yeah, on the um Ten of Swords, you're getting the chemistry. Yeah, I feel like you ain't feeling this bitch no more. Like, this person showed you no type of feelings, no type of attraction, you know, no type of desire and passion. You know, it, it wasn't hard to walk away from this shit is what I'm getting. Yeah, moving with the Ten of Swords. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't hard to let this shit go. I feel like you you getting a new home, Scorpio. A new apartment or something like that. Because I feel like you're the one leaving. Yeah, working is here. That's what I said. You're going to be busy. As fuck. You don't have time to work on a relationship. I feel like you're just going to be a workaholic and build your brand here to what's going on. I feel like this was a very painful ending. Like, period. But I feel like now your dreams are coming true and things are going to be realized to you that you were not able to comprehend being in this energy with this person. Clarify this ten of wands. Now you don't have the burdens that you had. This person is gone. Space is clear. It's like it's time for you to to move forward, Scorpio. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Hiding lies. That's what you got sick of. And it's like you always catch this bitch and they lie. They always covering up something. Always deleting the messages out of their phone, thinking you can't go back and pull them up. They always tell you a half or a piece of story. And this person just really, quite frankly, they all, they live in a fantasy world. They always questioning what's real and what's not. Here you go with the healthy choices. Scorpio, you, you like saying, why should I be somewhere fighting with somebody when I could be somewhere getting a bag or I could be somewhere chilling? Yeah, I feel like you cleaned up your act, you're taking care of yourself, and you're choosing better people to be in your energy, just period. You're pulling the revenge card that's coming out in the reverse. This person is very, very mad Scorpio and lashing out at you that you decide to like they feel like you throwing them away okay basically and basically that's what that's what you're doing it's because they turned you off like the third party shit whatever this jealous shit is the wandering eye shit that's gonna continuously happen because this person feel like it's okay to be them type shit it's not okay for Scorpio so it's like you're moving forward and moving forward don't mean going back to this piece of shit. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody, This person wanted you to be stagnant. This person was in your energy secretly wishing you fail, Scorpio. You're pulling leaving on the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're leaving this because this ain't your energy. Being broke, being impoverished, that ain't your energy. That's this other person's energy. You're breaking this cycle. You're saying goodbye. You're moving on to better things. That's just that on that shit, period. Yeah, on the Ace of Pentacles in reverse appearances. This person wants you to stay there so they can keep up a certain type of image. And they're trying to project that image onto you. Okay, this is a narcissistic behavior here. Personality. That's like one of the things that they do. Yeah, silence. There you have it. Now you're not communicating with this person. And they nothing to fuck up. They're going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Because <clears throat> this person was never able to open up. This person was always unsure about commitment when you were wide, you knew this and you were wide open to this Scorpio. And it's like, now that you want to close off this bitch telling you to open back up again? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. You got me one time, shame on me, but bitch, the next time, no, you going to be shame on you, bitch. No, 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 no. Eight of Wands in reverse. You don't get a, a, a third time to fuck me. Like, yeah, this person do too much. And then they, they act like they don't even give a fuck about you. 
It's like, what? You sick of that shit? You got a breakup on the Eight of Wands in reverse. And I mean, a breakup for some of you, Scorpio, you putting a lot of distance between you and this person. You could be moving out of state. I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all feeling lonely. You grieving the loss of, you know, just space. Somebody being in your fucking space. You, you, you missing arguing with people and feeling fucked up. Because that had become your comfort zone. But you processing this heartbreak. That's that's the one thing I want I want everybody to know. Scorpio processed the heartbreak immediately. We're pulling past life. For a lot of you, Scorpio, this could be karma that you were um resolving. Some type of unfinished business or uh, you working on old issues. Well, you got the lesson now. And you realize your little boundaries. There there always has to be a boundary. I feel like you block this person. You holding your own space now. I'm talking about you cut this person off and they going fucking crazy. Like literally on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Nostalgic is in the reverse because this person is not just nostalgic. They're, they're being over is obsessive. This person is thinking about you over and over and over and over and over again. But it's like you made a choice. You chose what you chose. This this person too, I'm hearing like, this this person could have had a conversation with you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. An argument, a real, I, I feel like y'all had a real bad argument that led to this breakup. I also feel like with the past life, this this person could have had some type of um, soul tie with you or like this person, some type of entity is evil attachment or entity is like possessing this person. I'm getting that too. I'm getting that very heavy. Like this person is under um, possession. They're, they're, it's like somebody else is driving the bus. <laughs> like literally. This person, I feel like they flip mode all the fucking time. It could be an air sign. could be a Gemini. I'm getting Gemini heavy. They don't know boundaries. They don't know. This This person don't think y'all broke up either. They think y'all on a hiatus. That's what this person think. And when they find out that's not it, when they find out all communication is cut off, when they find out that all the roads that lead back to you, he don't have access to any of them bitches. Yeah, this person gonna start for real super stalking and doing all type of shit, Scorpio. Be careful out there in them single streets, okay? <laughs> Cause to this person, you're not single, okay? Period. Alright, let's get into this person here, see what's going on. Yeah, I feel like this person is parting a lot. This part this person is um they're more or less not trying to get over you, but they're trying to they're trying to lose some of this time that it's taking you to get back. That they think you're going to blow off some steam and going to come back like you did before. Yeah, the first energy, look, communication. It's in the reverse. I'm telling you, as soon as they really realize you're not coming back, that, your, that, that every road that leads back to you, they don't have access to it. <laughs> yeah. This person is going to really be <clears throat> somebody very hard to deal with. I don't care what level it is. At work, with his third party, whatever this shit is. What else here with this person? This person is very arrogant. They really think you coming back. They, they really think they're just like a catch. And it's like, I don't understand it because you've been pretty much taking care of this person and they jealous of you at the same time. You have meditation here. Yeah, I feel like I feel like since you leave this shit, you're able to center yourself. You're able to get grounded. You're able to come up with like a fucking master plan or something. This whole relationship has just been res, uh, restricting you. We're pulling transgender here. This person could be confused about their sexuality. This person could be a cross dresser. I just heard that. Yeah, control taxes. I feel like this is a dominatrix type deal with this transgender. I feel like I feel like they they pay for sex with a tra a transgender or something like that is what I'm getting, Scorpio. They're very confused about their sexuality. 
The Ace of Cups is here. Yeah, I feel like this person loves, loves, loves to control Scorpio. I feel like them not having you in their grasp, them not having you in that matrix that they done made for you over these years is driving them fucking crazy. Now they're realizing, they think this is love, what they're feeling right now, but really it's obsession and rage and toxicity. Because this person is going crazy thinking about what the fuck you were doing without them. They, this For some reason, in this person's mind, they seem to think you can't make it without them when you're the person that's holding they raggedy ass together. Like, period. Yeah, fate. Detour, divine intervention. Just period. On God. Like, period. This person you don't even know to have is what I'm hearing. Your spirit team, no, no, they, they acting accordingly. Okay, yeah, look, prostitute, I'm telling you, this transgender, whoever it is, I'm telling you, he solicited them for sex. It's almost like to him, if he if he sleep with a transgender, that's that's not like he's sleeping with a man. What I fucking said. I'm telling you, this man is living in a, a, a fucking fairy tale land. This person is this person don't understand what the fuck is going on in real life. They couldn't. And that's why I feel like you're being, you know, like, got it away from this shit. What else here with this person? That's why they ask, hey, they, they don't have any access to you after you leave. Yeah, guilt, sabotage, yep, alchemy, your um, ancestor guys, yeah. It's like your, your, your spirit team had to get you the fuck out of here with this person. You don't know who the, this person solicited prostitutes. This person do drugs like, uh... Molly and shit like that to make him, you know, make his mind easy is what I'm getting. What else? Yeah, receive, open, it's in the reverse. I'm I'm hearing he the one on top. <laughs> what else? Another another tactic in his mind, control tactic. Him being with a transgender, a woman with heels, a man with heels on, and a and a you know, uh, you know where I'm going with this. Willie's perverted. He he identifies with that as a woman, so he's not sleeping with a man. And then receive and open is in the reverse, so he feels like he has to be the one doing the do, right? Because he's the man. And it's like, no. No. And he's been a bottom before, too. I just heard that, so... Yeah. Stalker. This person is looking for you, Scorpio. This person just not going to let you just cut free from them and go live your life how you want to live your life? Hell no. They own you now. Let them fucking tell it. But as fate would have it, honey, you are spiritually gotten away from this person who solicited prostitutes and shit. Yeah, there it is. Incest. So this person probably was raped, raped as a child. Yep. This person probably got a lot of sexual fetishes here, tying people up. And these real, real weird ass knots. I'm talking about some shit you can't even get out of. Like they really into dominatrix shit. Like tying up, binding. You, they just didn't do this shit with you. Yeah, look, detachment, cold. This person could never show you any emotions, Scorpio, because they didn't have any. They didn't have any. This person, this person been dead on the inside since, since this shit happened to them as a child. This is learned behavior is what I just heard. And you detached from this shit. You had to. It wasn't giving you anything and taking every fucking thing. And now this obsessive ass narcissist fool is looking for you all over town. And I feel like you know that's what's going on. I feel like that's why you leaving the state. Some of y'all relocating. Y'all changing area codes. Because this bitch here is for real with it. Like this is a psychotic ass fool. I feel like, too, they do molly and shit like that. Drugs that make them, um, you know, like drugs that make you nephoric. Like when he's with this transgender, he can really, like, think it's a woman. Or she'll really be looking like a woman because he'll be blurry or whatever the fuck. Like, I'm getting this. Ma this is a really distorted mas masculine here, just period. Yeah, comfort zone, south node, and clinging. That's all that is. That person just used to you being there. And your absence now is like get, driving them crazy. Why? Because that's been their comfort zone. For all this long time, you pulling third eye. Now that you got this information, this clarity, this guidance from your spirit team, you out of there. Your third eye was closed messing with this person. You had to close your third eye to even fuck with this person is what I just heard. Depression is here. 
Now this bitch is crazy. He depressed. He crazy. He can't find you nowhere. Don't nobody know where you at. He calling your mama house three, four times. Your cousin. Your job. This person, if you if they know your work job number, they're going to call so much. So you got to call the police and get a report. Like medicine calling, trying to get you to lose your job or some shit. Because you change your number. You block this bitch everywhere. You could... But I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, like I said, you're changing area code. This person is going to nut the fuck up. You're pulling um, home, family, and commitment. It's in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person's so confused about their sexuality. You're pulling crimes against children. Yeah, on incest, because I feel like somebody fucked him when he was a child. They raped him. Somebody in his family could have been a cousin. Like two sister children, I'm getting that. Yeah, look, attraction and hot in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this shit wasn't supposed to be going on. I feel like, too, his mama allowed this shit. I'm getting too like with the family at home in, in reverse and commitment. I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like their house was like a, a whole house, a prostitute house. Not only did people bring prostitutes there, they could have been dealing with parents who was on drugs real bad. I feel like whoever this is, their mama sold them for, for drugs, their mom and dad. And I feel like the dad fucked with them and raped them and all type of shit. Like they let men or women have them. I'm getting that for this person. That's so fucking sad. And now this person have all kind of weird sexual fetishes with men, with women, with children. Release this here. Yeah, you release yourself from this energy, Scorpio. I feel like, too, for a lot of you in intuitives, like, y'all been feeling this heaviness, this weight. You don't, you couldn't, you know, catch up, catch up to what exactly it was. But the need for you to separate, to detach from this person is, like, being more prevalent more than ever now. It's like you go to sleep with it on your mind, you wake up with it on your mind. And that's why you're doing something about it. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be somebody you're dealing with. Don't have to be. But I feel like this is a new beginning here. This is you moving. I feel like... And it's, it's so crazy. Like, it's not going to even fucking matter what kind of credit you got. What kind of car you got. It ain't going to... Like, it's like doors just going to open for you because you leaving this shit. Look at this shit. A cross dress. I can't make this shit up. I told you this person, they... they yeah... They real confused about their sexuality here, but the thing about you is you're the you you're the appearance. You help them keep up the appearance that they they're just a regular normal man. They go to work, you know. They come home, you know that type of shit. This this person is trying to mask the fact that they're bisexual or, or gay. But mm -mm, the justice card is here. Definitely a divorce. Definitely a split. Definitely not right for you to stay with somebody who's confused about their sexuality when you're not. It, this this just not your sink, not your dishes, Scorpio. <laughs> That's all that is. Your third eye is open. You seeing shit clear. You don't care who depressed. You're pulling the trust and divine time. It's time to go. I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, you know, you getting the wind beneath the wings. Now, for a lot of us, we may have stayed due to convenience, comfortability, uh, stability, children, whatever it is you stayed for. It's like something in you has just flipped. And it's like it's this is no longer this is no longer enough for you. This is no longer working for you. You don't know what the fuck this person got going on, but only thing you know, their only crime to you is they couldn't commit. They couldn't keep their dick in their pants. Period. What else? And you know you can trust who you. Yeah, karma, balance, and justice, justice again. Like you detaching from this just changed your whole entire universe, Scorpio. Yeah, Venus, an offer. Somebody's offering you <laughs> a lot. I feel like you turned down a lot of opportunities because this person is so jealous. So envious of anybody saying anything to you, speaking to you, but they have a wondering eye. Yeah. This is somebody who don't know any boundaries. Yep, party. Etern external. Like I told you, this person, they, do, they doing a lot of partying, Scorpio, because they think you coming back. They doing a lot of sleeping and taking Molly and fucking this transgender and shit thinking they ain't gay or bisexual. They doing a lot of that while you somewhere, they think you somewhere pouting or heartbreaking and you coming back. You gonna bring it back in. And it's like, no, I'm not. Yeah, look, composing. 
This person could be shape shifting. I I feel like Scorpio and Astro traveling. I feel like too this person is somebody who dabbles in witchcraft. I'm hearing their granddaddy did. I feel like their grandma and granddaddy raised them after a certain time because their mom and daddy just crack shit. They either went to jail or hell. Something very significant about this person not being able to be a chameleon, being able to change at a at a at just like at a second. This could be spirit just showing me that this person switch like flip mode. They switch moods a lot, or like they got a, a lot of different personalities or some shit like that. What else? Yeah, arsonist, arsonist. This person could they could be like one of them fire starters. You pull a renewal and spark. <laughs> Yeah, this could be somebody you meeting though, Scorpio, that just kind of like set you on fire here. This is somebody like you've been waiting for, okay, period. Yeah, celebration, gifts, and abundance. I feel like, Scorpio, you're going into a connection with somebody who's truly exchanging gifts with you. Yeah, in the bottom of the deck, you got distance, retreat, or time out, yeah. You're walking away from this shit, Scorpio. And look at you looking back. It's hard. Whoever I'm, whoever I'm speaking to, it's hard for you to do it. But now that you're being intuit, now you're being intuitively guided. Your spirit team is moving you because you refuse to move. All right, Scorpio. If you're still with me, like, subscribe, share, let those ads play. If you want a personal reading, I'm running a forty-four dollar, forty-four cent special cash out PayPal, and email me. I love you guys. I'll talk to you in the next video.